Today is Monday, November 16, 2020. And so we will be looking at your Arctic Polar Region map that you colored and labeled in class. We're going to add some labels to it today. So pay attention to the video so you understand what I want you to add. All right, here is a colored one. And remember, you colored all the blue of the Arctic Ocean all around through. There's little chunks of islands all around up in the Arctic region. The Arctic region is inside this circle, okay? And it includes Russia, Greenland, Canada, Alaska. These are the ones we labeled. But if you look at this map, it also includes Finland, Sweden, and Norway. And a little outside the circle is this little island called Iceland. So you're going to label, let me show you. Well, first of all, you need to come here on this section of land and draw these lines. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you need to draw them and make it so I can see it. Don't do it in pencil so that I can't see it. Okay, so we have a line here. This isn't super correct. It should be a little bit more straight here because all of this is Russia. Okay, so do these lines and then you're going to first label the North Pole. Remember the North Pole is the area north that the furthest area north that you can go. Okay, here you cannot go any further north. So if you're at the North Pole, you are the furthest north that you can go. Then you're going to label Iceland. Iceland is a little island next to Greenland. Remember, Greenland is the biggest island in the world. Do you guys remember what an island is? It is a body of land that is surrounded by water. So Greenland, it has water all the way around and Iceland has water all the way around. And if you notice, there's many places in the Arctic region that have islands. These are all islands here and here. Here's an island. All of these chunks of land are islands. Okay, then you're going to label Sweden. This part is Sweden. This skinny part here is Norway. And this part here is Finland. Okay, so you have to draw these lines and then write the words, these ones. So I, I need to see North Pole, Iceland, Norway, Finland, and Sweden. Okay, now I want to talk to you about the summertime and the wintertime in the Arctic region. If you notice here, the sea has a lot of ice in the summer, but if you notice over here, even the land has ice and it's more solid like here over here you can see in the summer that it's got um it's like broken and it's probably floating chunks of ice in many places and um, there's a lot more blue showing so a lot of it has melted okay like even here this would be 
over here and it would normally have ice in the winter okay and the a lot of the land is covered look this outline is the Greenland okay and it's mostly covered in ice so summertime there's less ice and wintertime there's a lot more ice so I'm going to show you a video to explain why Hot but poles are cold because equator likes hot burgers and poles like cold burgers nah huh? firstly around the equator sun rays hit the ground at a 90 degree angle hence more solar energy falls per unit area thus making equator hot however near the poles since sun rays hit the ground at a lower angle, the rays spread, causing less energy to fall per unit area, thus making poles cooler. Hmm. Secondly, due to the Earth's axial tilt, poles don't receive sunlight for many months during the year, thus worsening the situation. Thirdly, as sunlight takes a long path to reach the poles, it has to deal with a greater number of atmospheric particles which result in more absorption and scattering of sunlight. Thus, less sunlight reaches the poles. Lastly, snow at the poles reflects 75-95% to 95 of sunlight which is much more... Okay. So that video was basically uh, saying a lot of things that I'm sure you didn't understand. But for now, I want you to know that there is a time in winter where the sun never shines in the North Pole. So for about three months, it never shines. It's always dark in the North Pole. So if the sun doesn't shine, of course it's going to be so much colder and that's part of the reason why there's ice that covers so much more of an area than in the summer when it melts because in the summer then the sun there's a point in time when the sun shines all the time okay you can see here that there's a time when it the sun never goes down and here there's a time when the sun doesn't ever shine so that's why there's ice um, a lot of ice in the winter okay so the last thing so you've watched the video and i want to remind you that you can earn a token today by taking a picture of your map once you've written all the new things on it and sending it to me, okay, through WhatsApp. So to get a token for uh, to buy in the store, take a picture of your map once it's completely labeled with the, with the five new things I asked you to label in the video. And um, if there's still things you need to color on the map, then also make sure that is done as well.